You know what, I'm just gonna... Oh my gosh, this is oh. so cute! Why is this so cute? All we have is Himalayan pink salt. No! That's just one chunk and you're Wait, broke. You get me. Stupid! Doesn't work! Just make it so like, uh, just so you know. For baby eggs. This is man for baby eggs. Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to our channel. We're doing a new intro every time. <laughs> We're back here today, I baby. Where that intro. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> okay, today's video we are trying TikTok food hacks. And they're gonna be delicious, hopefully. So we have found five popular question marks. I feel like food hacks are like tricks, like putting the wet paper towel by the onion so it doesn't make you cry. I actually did have that plan, but then I got rid of it because we don't have an onion. Oh. <laughs> well, that is a food hack. That is a food hack. I feel but... like most of what we're doing is just kind of recipes though. All right, so like I said, we have five TikTok food hacks. I'm really excited to try these because I haven't tried any of them, but I have seen other people do them and obviously the TikTokers. So shout out to everyone who we feature and that we use their TikToks for this experiment. But we're gonna start with TikTok number one, which is making your own DIY homemade Cheez-Its. Cheez-Its. I love Cheez-Its, so I'm excited. I hope this one works. All right, so we've got some Colby and Monterey Jack cheese. I think this would be a fun summer activity to do if you're bored, and what if it turns out tastier than Cheez-Its? I don't know if it's any healthier. Probably, because it's not preserved. This is made locally. Yeah. This is local stuff. All right, so for this TikTok, what you need is cheese, uh, a pan. They use parchment paper, but we have this reusable one, so that's what we're using. Mm -hmm. A straw to poke the holes, and some salt, so. Oh my gosh, this is like the worst. Yeah, I feel like we swear. should use like scissors. Yeah, I'm making like the you can't, worst. You, like, like if you if you bend it, <laughs> if you try bending the cheese, most cheese will just crumble and break. <laughs> what state is this? What state is this? Comment down below, watch. It looks like this cheese. <laughs> it looks like something. You know what? I'm just oh my gosh, this oh. is so cute! Why is this so cute? I hope you guys can see this. Um, now I'm just gonna lay them out, and then after we lay them all out, we're gonna put some salt, and we're bougie because we kind of have to be. We ran out of normal salt, so all we have is Himalayan pink salt. Mm -hmm. In the little grinder bottle thingy. While we're waiting for these to bake, we're gonna start making our other TikTok food hacks. Next TikTok food hack, we are gonna be trying your own DIY like chocolate and crustables. Half of this TikTok shows you what you could do with the rest of the bread, and you could like put eggs in it. All right, so let's start off with this. I'm really excited. We're not gonna try the egg one today, but um, just so you know, you could do that if you wanted. I just want to try the crustables part. So here we go. We have our pieces of bread here. So it looks like they just, wait, I need to wash this. Comment down below, you guys. We are going to have a debate. What is your favorite kind of chocolate? Are you milk chocolate, dark chocolate, white chocolate kind of person? Let us know. Definitely just classic milk chocolate. Same. <laughs> I do also kind of like dark chocolate though. I do, I don't. You don't? I, I don't. You don't? I now have an action. Oh, well. So does putting the cup through this like seal it down? That's what it looks like. I am skeptical. Oh no! No! It's just one chunk and you're Wait, broke. You get me. Guys, this is what mine's looking like. Um, as you can see, we have a massive crack. Yep. Um, excuse me. It kind of seals it. Gosh, this is not as easy as it seems. Maybe it's only certain bread that works, but they look like they just use white bread, and this is like your classic white bread. This is, if I stick this in the toaster, this is gonna get a melt chocolate everywhere. I would not stick that in the toaster. Get another two pieces of bread and try again. Oh my gosh, we're literally wasting bread. Okay, well this is how trial one went. You can still went. eat that. It just. I don't know if yours is gonna work with double. Yeah, we'll see. I would try. It. Okay, this is so. Oh yeah, it's just too thick. Mine didn't crack in like it cracked on the side here. Oh my god. So like it just came. Like yeah, it just opened up that way. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna try it again. Yeah, that was kind of. Bad. This is lame -o. We're gonna try this. 
Okay. This is the messiest circle known to humankind, but whatevs. Rip. R.I.P. Oh. that. R.I.P. that. This is just ugh. stupid. Doesn't work. TikTok hack number three. We're making easy DIY quesadillas. So what you're gonna need is tortilla. You're gonna need cheese, sauce, mushrooms. I guess whatever you want to put in yours. So. Well, let's try this. Hopefully this one turns out better than the last one. All right, are you ready to make some pizza? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's do make this. Make sure that if you're using sharp tools that you use the cutting board so you don't chop up your counter. That would be bad. And also be careful with this because it's sharp. Take it and you cut a slit like halfway up on one side. Yes. And then it was like sauce, cheese, cheese, mushrooms. Mm hmm I hope this tastes good. Me too, because if it doesn't taste good, then that's really bad. So I'm putting the mushrooms on right now. I like mushrooms like fully cooked, so I hope that this is not crunchy raw when it's done, because that's gonna be ugh. This looks good though, in theory. It's like a pizza tortilla. Drip it. There's the sauce. Wait, 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 I'm gonna get this close up. Go. All right, so then you take this and you fold it this way. And then you take this and you fold it this way. You probably should have been doing this. But, and then you take it and fold it. That looks really good. Yeah. That That's way. That's thick. That is thick. That's a, <laughs> that is a thick bowl. And, and then, then, then you put the this pan. in the pan with some oil. Yes. And we need to get a pan heated up with oil. <laughs> Alright, our quesadilla's done! I burnt mine a little bit. But... I left mine for like literally 0.1 seconds and it was like crisp, crisp, supreme! Ready? Oh, he's going in for it. Whoa. Whoa. Actually, the cheese are done! The cheese are long. It's that's good! A that's, a, that's, a, that's a thumbs up. If I had to change anything, be the mushrooms. I make them squinchier and not cold because I can feel the coldness of my mushrooms. Thumbs up for the TikTok, man. You guys know where it's at with the life hacks. Approved. Approved. Let's go check out our Cheez Its. Pizza quesadilla wrap. First look at the Cheez Its. Oh my gosh. Whoa, it smells good. That looks like the video. It smells so good, guys. We even have a few. We left up for more if we wanted to make some after. Wow! This is gonna be yummy. That looks so good. We're waiting for the Cheez Its to get crunchy because right now they're kind of floppy. We're gonna be like making s'mores cookies, I think. And so, well, we're gonna need a second layer after of this. Cookie dough? Yeah. Oh. So, our cookie dough came in squares. Oh. We're just gonna use a little potato masher and I... try to squish it down into. Oh no, they're kind of. They're really hard. So then after cookie dough, it looks like uh, we put chocolate everywhere. I hope this turns out good. And then after our chocolate layer, so we put cookie dough, chocolate, and now we're going to add marshmallow, marshmallow fluff. fluff. Which I feel like the jars. Oh. Of... Whoa! Whoa! I feel like the jars of marshmallow fluff are so misleading because like it's so light and floofy that when you pick this up it feels like it's only like half full. Yeah, I know. It looks like ice cream. Yeah. Teamwork makes the dream work, y'all. Um, I think we should use the whole jar. Yeah, I think that's what they did. Cookie dough, part two. Okay. Here we go. Here's the problem, is that now that we have a whole layer of like marshmallow mm -hmm. fluff and stuff, we can't just like use our hands. Maybe like, we should crunch it on here first. Yeah, probably. I haven't had like marshmallow, like I don't even know when the last time I had marshmallow was. Oh no, now I can't get it off the cutting board. Okay, let's go, I got yeah. my nice square thing of cookies. <gasps> what is it, Oh, that was good. Ooh, look at wow. that. Wow! This is looking so good, look at that. That looks amazing. This looks so good, what a man boss. All right, next up they use like mini marshmallows and sprinkle them on top. We don't have mini ones, we have these huge ones. So I think we're just gonna rip the big ones into smaller ones. Chunky boys. Yeah, basically. So basically this is just like cookie dough, chocolate, marshmallow, cookie dough, marshmallow. Basically, <laughs> it's just 
sugar bomb city. Yeah. And this is probably gonna be really tasty, but also just like really amazingly rich. If this is good, we should make them for our family. <gasps> yeah, that I would think they nice. would like it. They, I, yeah, I think so. Guys, look at this masterpiece. This looks delicious. So we're gonna stick this in the oven, I think for 40 minutes, which is long, but that's okay. All right, our Cheez-Its are done. They yep. look so, so good. Just make it, so like, uh, just so you know, I can't English. After they're done, when you pull them out, you have to like let There's them no cool off. Yeah, they filled in the hole. The hole's gone. <laughs> but you have to let them cool off before they'll get crunchy. Because when they come right out of the oven, they're still they're kind of floppy. floppy. Maybe you could probably leave them out even more for crunch, but I want to yep. try it. Okay. Uh, so you don't even need to put a hole in them. No. Oh. Mm. They could be more crunchy. Yeah. They're still pretty good. Mm. Pretty tasty. Why does it taste like plus? To me, it just tastes like pizza cheese. It's just like, if I think about it, it tastes like plastic. I don't know that. I mean, it tastes like cheese. Okay, I'm trying this one. This one looks really crunchy. It just doesn't taste any different. That's just what like very highly cooked cheese tastes like. Maybe it'll be different if they get even more crunchy, but I don't know if I like it. <laughs> I don't know if I like this. You like it? I like it because like, it doesn't taste like plastic. Like the texture's a little meh. Maybe that's fun. But it tastes more like, like a cheese curd than anything else. Huh. Okay, so we have one more while we're waiting for our s'mores. We didn't use our timer. Yes, I did. Oh. It's on the oven. No. <laughs> we have one more to try um, while that's baking. So this one actually is like a food trick yeah. kind of thing. It's not a recipe. It's the idea that if you drop an egg into a pan, and then it cracks perfectly and doesn't leave a bunch of little tiny Shells. shell bits. We're gonna see if this actually works. Do you think the pan has to be heated? Oh, I don't know. Or could we just do it? Like, I think we could just do let's it. Let's just do it right here. Yeah, I don't baby know. Baby pan for baby eggs. Baby pan for baby eggs. That scared me so bad. There's just something shifting in the sink. All right, egg. All right, I'm gonna get a close up of Spencer dropping it. So, if you just drop it, it's supposed to just crack. Oh. <gasps> um, that looks like a mess. Uh, it can be salvaged, but it definitely did not work like it did in that video that I saw. Oh, wait, I feel like is there eggs? No. <gasps> There's no bits. Yeah, this is gross. <laughs> but like the shell is very like damaged, shattered. So like if you're not careful about doing the rest of it, I feel like you probably would get egg bits in there. Yeah. But the thing is, it's like in the guy's video, he dropped it and like an entire opening happened and he just like lifted it up and the egg thing came out. For right. us, we dropped it and it cracked, but it didn't have like an opening big enough to just like dump the egg out. Honestly, I'm at this point, I've cracked enough eggs in my life that I'm not worried about it. I can just crack an egg. I, I, I have confidence that I can crack eggs without getting bits in my pants, so. If you are horrible at cracking eggs, maybe try this. Give it a try. Give it a little swirl. You're gonna like spill the egg. <laughs> 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 All right, well, we'll be back when our cookie dough mixture concoction is all done. I'm so excited for this. This better not let us down because I'm gonna be so sad. <laughs> Almost everything else in this Everything video. else has, so we'll see you then. <laughs> The timer for the s'mores goodness stuff just went off, so we're just gonna did. pop mm -hmm. it out of the oven and we're gonna taste some tasty tastes. Oh! Oh my gosh! This looks so good. Wow. This looks so, so good. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. We're just gonna get one plate. I'm gonna try to just fish out like a... Is good... the cookie dough cooked? It doesn't look like it. Mm. It does not. It's just mush in here. It's literally just mush. <laughs> it's soup. Should we let this cook We should more? probably bake this for longer. Look at this. It's just mush. Is it okay to eat cookie dough? I guess a lot of people do. I do. I <laughs> um, don't. It's really hot. Ah! Warned me like one second late. Well, it tastes really good. 
I think, yeah, I think it does need to just get baked through yeah. a lot more. It's not fully baked, even though we baked it for the recommended time. Why is everything failing? It's because baking times actually change depending on your elevation. Oh. So again, this could be someone who's like sea level, and so we'd have to make it for way longer. Well, we're gonna pop this back in, but I think if this tastes good right now, it'll taste good when it's fully cooked. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna give this one a thumbs up. Just make sure that depending on where you live, you might have to adjust time of how yeah. long it bakes. But overall, this was a fun video to film. We learned lots of new hacks. We learned lots of hacks that did not work. Yep. So. Uncrustables. That was so sad. That was sad. But I still don't think that it's necessarily that the hack was wrong. I think our bread was just too dry. Yeah. So, anyways, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more TikTok food hacks, let us know your favorite ones. And we'll try to find them and... Yeah. Like, try them ourselves. So, uh, make sure you give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.